which made others appreciate him for who he was. After completing his primary education at Bantama Primary School, Kojo started touring with, with his father on his musical shows. He was receptive and enthusiastic to music. Kojo would stay and watch the band practice at the cultural center, Kumase, where his father would have musical shows. After everyone had left, he would sit behind the piano, practice and sing a humble dilettante until it was flawless. This was the start of his musical career. He was so well known at the age of 18 that he could perform alongside his father on a number of occasions and had joined the Apabua band, where he developed into a keyboard virtuoso. He continued his education by enrolling in the Winneba School of Music. Once certified, he returned to his father to continue their musical journey together. He played in several bands throughout his musical career, including the Apabua Band, the Third Generational Dance Band, Africa Brothers Band, that's Nanam Pedus Band, Susum Mystic Band, the Soldiers Band at Community 19, Juwalakes Band, Marriott International Band, and Kojo Entries Band, before deciding to go solo. He was a singer, songwriter, and producer, and some of his songs include Arechichire, Hinime, and Face to Face. He worked as a producer and promoted other artists while leading an exemplary and worthy life. Kojo took a break from his business to raise a lovely family. He was survived by a wife and six beautiful children who have carried on his legacy by creating works that are exact duplicates of his own. He, Kojo Apabwa, truly deserves the label legendary, if there is any such thing. Additionally, he merits praise because his career as a musician in Ghana has been a sacrifice made for the younger and the future generations. Undoubtedly a maestro, Kojo continues to be remembered as a legend. Thank you. sister. <laughs> Make best school or baby, I'll close school. No, I'm not going to go for a month. I'm going to go for a month. Oh, my goodness. Are we ready to bring our brother, our father's body? I'm going to go to the crowd and say, I'm going to go to the body. Yeah. Okay, um, we'll continue with our first tribute that is by the children. Oh. Tribute by the children. Oh. Patrol, Uncle Kojo and Mano and Bemaya tribute. I see Josephine coming, Mumba Monsem, Yenra, Kojo, Yeketri, and the Dikai Ebano. Put your hands together for the children. By the children. He will wipe every tear from your eyes in this time of sorrow. Let's remember that our dad's love, like his music, is eternal. Revelation 21 4. Kwejo, as most called him, but to us, he was our dad. Okay. Kwejo, as most called him, but to us, he was our dad or our dada. Yeah. My dad was a man who was full of life. His life was full of melody, resonating with everyone he met. Yes, he was strict, but he never shied away from showing us how much he loved us. He might not have been the perfect father, but as the saying goes, no one is perfect. Our dad had his way of showing his love with the calls whenever it rained, asking if we were safe, because he heard on the radio that a dam had flooded. Aside that, he would call you at dawn just to pray with you. One of our fondest memories with our dad was his love for music and how he would talk about music for hours and how he would give you pointers each and every time. He would just sit quietly and listen to him playing his playlist. As 
His soul rest in peace and our child. Yeni na adema ye muso whilst we bring to the body of our brother. Mammy yeah <laughs> I
If you see your better day, you know, your better day, and you don't have a better day, you know, when you have a better day, you know, 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 you have a better day, you know,